Sorry I look a bit crap, I'm tired and have anxiety. <laughs> but it's my first trip away since starting this recovering from my agoraphobia journey. And we're going to the new forest. It's only like two and a half hours from my house, but we took the scenic route, so it took like four hours in the end. <laughs> and here we are stopping for a little break to stretch our legs, and he made a tea. <laughs> so we went for a little walk, and the view was so beautiful. I think we'd been driving for like three hours at this point, so the break was very welcome. <laughs> and here's the beautiful view. Get ready, everybody. He's about to do something stupid. Yep, guess who didn't check what the camera was focused on before she started recording. <laughs> Which is pretty annoying, because that would have been some good footage to have. <laughs> And now we're here in the New Forest in Burley. It's known as a little witch's village because in the late 50s there was a woman called Sybil Leek and she was a white witch and she was always seen walking around the village with her pet jackdaw on her shoulder and wearing a long cloak. So there's a couple different like witchcrafty type shops around but it's a really small village so there's not too many shops. So yeah, we went and looked in a lot of the shops there, and in this one I bought some jam for my family. <laughs> and then across the road here, we bought some fudge. I think we bought seven different flavours. <laughs> After looking around the town we walked back towards our van, and there's so many horses around. And then we went for a little walk around the new forest near where we parked. And we found a little house, so obviously we went and sat in it. <laughs> and then I tripped. <laughs> Enough playing house, time to keep walking. We climbed on some of the trees, cause why not? <laughs> yeah, it still feels kind of surreal that I went away on a trip. <laughs> and I can't wait for the next one. It's crazy that I was stuck in my house all day every day for years and now I'm out on a trip. <laughs> just goes to show that anything's possible if you just keep trying. Before I started posting online about trying to recover from this, I tried so many times to recover and it never seemed to work. And I'm pretty sure that one of the main reasons that it actually is working this time is because of consistency and persistence. Which sounds pretty obvious now that I'm saying it. But before, when I would try, I wouldn't go out every single day. I'd be like, okay, I'm tired today, I'm not going to go out. Or I'm too anxious today, I'm not going to go out. But I think forcing myself to go out every single day, no matter what, has been one of the biggest things. As you can see, now we're stopping for lunch and I'm making myself some pasta. <laughs> Just waiting for it to cook. And now I'm sitting to eat it. And as we were sitting down, horses came up to us. I didn't get a video of it coming closer, but it came like right up to us. <laughs> and then we went to where we're going to camp for the night, which is right next to the ocean. I'm walking like an idiot because there's sharp stones around and I have no shoes on. <laughs> and here we have the Homo sapien entry. Homo sapien is running to shore because she's scared of the water. 
Anyway, <laughs> we just played by the beach for a while. We wanted to watch the sunset, but you couldn't really see it from where we were. And he made himself something to eat for dinner. I can't remember what I had for dinner. We ate different things, but I have no idea what I ate. <laughs> Not that it's really important, but I just realised that I couldn't remember. <laughs> We have a little camper van that we just got and this was our first time using it, obviously because I haven't been able to do anything like that before. And here's what it looks like. The back obviously lays down to a bed as you can see and there's storage underneath. And you can fold the bed back up and have a little table in the back. Here's what the bed looks like. I was worried that I wasn't going to sleep or was going to be too anxious to sleep but I slept fine. <laughs> And now it's the next day. There's been a drastic change in weather overnight. <laughs> it was boiling hot yesterday, but there was thunder and lightning in the middle of the night, and today it's cold and rainy and windy. <laughs> but waking up beside the sea is the best, so I'm going to eat my breakfast by the sea. Yes, I'm eating a packet of crisps for breakfast. <laughs> And as you can see, you have to climb over the wall to get to the ocean. Dude, I almost had you. And today we went to a part of the new forest where they have loads of deer. They have some information here of what deer you can see. And here's the little lookout that you can look out and see them from. From this platform here though, we could only see one deer. <laughs> so we walked around the edge of it a little bit. Here's Ryan staring at a massive tree. <laughs> and then we saw a bunch of deer. As you can tell, the weather is not great, but we just stood there and watched them for a little while. Luckily, we've got waterproof jackets. <laughs> But then after that we went and walked into a different town that was close by and we got chips for lunch. <laughs> I forgot to take a video of the chips, but we ate that and then afterwards we went for another walk in a different part of the new forest. <laughs> and in this part they had redwood, fir and these giant sequoias. There they are. They're massive. <laughs> There's the humans for size comparison. And now we're on the way home. Like I said, I can't believe I actually went away on a trip. <laughs> so here's to many more trips, hopefully. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>